Hi, come over here. Come over here. Yes. When buying a bull terrier, owning a bull terrier, I mentioned that they're an expensive breed to own, and a part of that high cost is due to buying quality toys. And the reason you really need to buy quality toys. video that I did, I happened to mention how uh, I considered Bull Terriers to be a somewhat expensive breed of dog to own, and um, what I meant by that was just that this is a breed that tends to need high quality gear and food due to skin sensitivities and um, uh, physical strength and destructive behavior. With that being said, I would like to do sort of a review-ish video and talk a little bit more in depth about toys and because toys in my opinion are something that's super important to have and for all bull terriers and all dogs in general but uh, if you're not very familiar with a lot of the different toys out there um, this is kind of a review to give you a good idea on what sort of things that you should be investing in for your bull terriers. Alright, so first uh, toys that I really want to get into are the Kong brand toys. Now obviously I can't review every toy that Kong makes, uh, but I can give you a good idea of some of the toys that I personally like to own or keep on hand from Kong, because I feel like uh -huh, owning a dog is sort of an unspoken rule that you should also have at least one Kong brand toy. Uh, and most specifically, more specifically, would probably be these things right here. Mine's a little dirty because, well, it's a heavily used toy and uh, I found it under my couch. You'll probably uh, recognize that Kong comes in multiple different colors, the most recognizable color being red. However, they make these black Kongs, which is what I highly suggest you go with right off the bat, even for young Bull Terrier puppies. I know they make some cute puppy Kongs, but in my opinion, your best bet is to start off with just the large or at least uh, medium black Kongs. Now this was actually my puppy Kong, and this was actually the second puppy Kong, uh, because the first puppy Kong actually got chewed in half. Uh, they also make these in black, the uh, Goody Bones. They also make balls um, in black, and these are for the more heavy-duty, hard chewers. And like I said, I really recommend getting these right off the bat. Uh, you may get a Bull Terrier, you may have a Bull Terrier that's not a real big chewer, uh, but you may not know that until after you buy the toy and in my opinion I would rather you find out that you have a light chewer uh, using one of these and it doesn't get shredded so quickly as opposed to find out you have a heavy duty chewer like I did and end up having to invest a couple you know fifty sixty dollars in toys that you just eventually have to throw away in a day or two uh, and have to worry possibly about blockages should you find out your dog has chewed a huge chunk off in five minutes and has eaten them. Uh, but with that being said Kong also makes some other toys that I'm finding out. Um, they have these I've really been liking, these are the Kong Ballistics, and um, these are somewhat heavy duty. Normally I don't like to buy soft toys because my dogs generally shred them, so I kind of make it a rule that I don't really look for fabric or soft toys unless uh, I expect my dogs to shred them apart. But these Kong Ballistics are kind of made for a little bit harder and tougher dogs. 
this, however, I still do not trust 100% because my dogs have ripped holes in toys similar to this before. Uh, but so far this one has been holding up. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really liking these Kong Ballistics. Uh, this is another toy that I recently tried. These, I'm not entirely sure what the name of these were, but... I've seen that they were on sale, I bought two of them, and one of them was actually destroyed within a matter of a couple of days, and then this one was just sort of ignored. So this is not too, too durable, uh, but that's for the Kong toys. I'd also like to mention that any toy you give your dog should definitely not be left unsupervised with them. Uh, I do not ever recommend putting toys in your dog's crates. I don't care how heavy duty it is, I don't care if it's a con or what have you. I just, I don't recommend any toys in the crate unsupervised. If you're going to be there to watch, uh, that's one thing. But if you're going to leave your dog home alone, I definitely don't suggest leaving toys in the crate because even these completely indestructible, indestructible, so they say toys can just be chewed apart and just swallowed and blockage and just a whole emergency vet a thousand dollar nightmare mess. So as far as toys go, keep an eye on your dog. Another one of the Kong toys that I would like to show off are these Aqua Kongs and this is a regular Kong only in bright orange. It's not durable uh, but it has a little foamy thing in there to allow it to float and it's got a rope on it. Uh, I recently got this for Nichols who is the water lover and the fetch lover. Um, this is not something that she is allowed to have any other time except for when we are specifically uh, near a body of water that I can throw this in for her to fetch. Um, this is not a toy that she's allowed to just sit down and chew on, hence the reason it looks so nice. I've had this for a couple of months now, uh, and again, this is not a toy that I would recommend for a heavy duty chewer or letting your dog sit down and chew on it. Another decent brand that I would like to talk about. I don't have a lot of their toys on hand right now. Um, I have had quite a few of them in the past, however, uh, are the JW toys. And uh, this right here is, as you can see, another black toy. It's not made by the Kong brand. This is JW brand. Uh, they generally tend to stick to solid rubber toys, which I appreciate. Um, but this is the X... Dream Holy Roller, or I know it's Holy Roller, or the Holy whatever, um, but uh, I used to have the original that wasn't the Black Extreme that was so thick and durable. My dogs ripped it in half in a matter of minutes, uh, but so far this one has withstood about two years now uh, in pretty good shape between two dogs. This is the uh, JW Giggle Ball. It makes a giggly noise. This is really heavy duty, solid rubber. This is so far I'm really liking. It's gone through, again, two dogs over the course of uh, two years. It's with, it's stood up to them pretty well. A few other products that they make are the Good Cuz, Bad Cuz, which are like the balls that are about this big. They have feet and some have horns. Um, my older dog, Caesar, was a huge fan of that toy. Uh, however, it did not withstand my younger Nichols, who is the hardest shoer I've ever had and the most destructive. Um, but we also tried the Dogs in Action, uh, DNA, we tried the Gummy Bears, all of those have been destroyed. So. Uh, for the JW toys, it seems like it really depends on your dog. Um, personally, my take on when buying toys is I want to feel them. I don't generally like to buy toys unknowingly off the internet. I prefer to be able to feel them, put my hands on them, see how hard they are, see how hard I can push into them, squeeze them, things like that. Um, but with the JW toys, I like most of them, but at the same time, not a lot of them have held up to my dogs. So that one really depends. They, held, they hold up to one dog who isn't a very heavy 
truer, destructive, but the other one who is, they have not held up very well. So JW, I like them, uh, but it, it's kind of a hit or miss with them and the different toys that, that they offer. So these are the Tuffy toys, and again I've talked a little bit about the stuffed animal or the fabric toys. Generally, I'm not a big fan of fabric toys. I'm super picky. Stuffed animals, um, I don't even bother with. I kind of make it a rule not to even bother with them unless they're super cheap and I say, here you go, shred it in five seconds so I can throw it away. Uh, but like, the Tuffy toys are a bit pricey. These ones I've had for maybe about a year. You can always, already see a lot of wear on them, wear and tear. Um, we had one of the big tugs that was about 36-ish dollars uh, that got destroyed in probably a couple of weeks. Um, so far these, these have held up pretty well, but again, these are toys that I don't really keep them to ha allow them to have constant access to in their toy box just because you can already see the holes here and I would they can still get a little bit of use out of them as long as I'm playing with the dogs but otherwise for the dogs to just have them on their own I don't trust them um, I do really like the Tuffy toys if you have a dog that really likes uh, fabric toys which my dogs tend to um, they do like the fabric toys and these are probably the only these and the Kong Ballistic are probably the only fabric toys that I would really recommend for Bull Terriers. Chuckets, these are the Chuckit brand uh, toys. This is the Chuckit brand tennis ball, which is actually a lot different uh, when you compare them to a actual tennis ball or if you compare them to most dog brand tennis balls. I really hate uh, tennis ball geared directly for dogs, made specifically for dogs. Honestly, there's something about them, they just crumble, they fall apart, something about the rubber is just dry, not flexible, and it just seems to turn to powder and fall apart. I can't stand that. Um, so when I seen that Chuck It made tennis balls, I was a little skeptical, uh, but I was pleasantly surprised as they seem to be pretty hardcore solid rubber. Uh, this one has uh, stood up to three dogs over the course of six years, all three being Bull Terriers, and uh, this is a nice tennis ball if you have a dog that enjoys tennis ball. Um, they also make the Chuck It rubber balls that are not soft and fuzzy on the outside like the general tennis balls. This is a large, you can see it's a bit bigger than this one, which I like because my dogs tend to have big wide mouths and I, I get a little paranoid that they might accidentally inhale or swallow a ball, so I like this a lot. Uh, this was my previous dog's coveted toy and this has been through a lot. This was her go-to toy, this was something that she could uh, sit down and gnaw away at for hours and hours, we could go out and play with it. Uh, this was her coveted toy for two years. And I was, and I still am, impressed. These are about 10 to $11 a piece. And if your dog is ball obsessed, I highly recommend and highly suggest these. Uh, this, which is why I bought this. And this is essentially the same as this, only it is on a handle. Obviously, you can see my dog decided to chew this handle in half. Um, because, well, that's what the, my current female Nichols does is she chews. So this is a toy that she's actually not allowed to have for the handle because you can see her teeth just nod right through it. Uh, but this is her highly coveted toy. So this is her, we use this specifically for training purposes. Um, she doesn't get this all the time, but again, it's solid. Honestly, I love this. I love these. Uh, they, these are excellent. So if you are looking to purchase something for working with your dog, training with your dog, playing with your dog, these are a definite, definite go-to. This right here is kind of the uh, off-brand of the Jolly Teaser Ball. The reason I have the off-brand is because I couldn't find any Jolly Teaser Balls in my area, uh, and I didn't really know what the Jolly Teaser Ball felt like. Uh, so when I found this and I purchased this, it's because I really like the feel of it. This is actually a hard plastic, um, but it's at the same time a flexible plastic. Uh, 
if that makes sense. Um, this isn't a uh, plastic that's just going to crack and shatter. Uh, so it does have some give there. But um, my dogs really enjoy this. They generally just like to carry it around and shake it up and, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, this has lasted about two years now. Um, so I really, really like these. Uh, these are not really something that your dog can sit down and gnaw at, which I very much appreciate. Um, this is also the same type of material as the Jolly Egg Balls, which I highly recommend. I do not have one on hand at the moment because after about six years, my dogs finally chewed a hole in their 12-incher. Uh, but that is another toy that I highly recommend. Giant rope toys I really, really enjoy. My dogs really enjoy. These are great for tug of war with each other. This is great for tug of war between me and them. Um, these are great for hanging up so my dog can tug with themselves with a spring pole. Um, and these are just excellent. This bad boy right here is known as the unbreak o ball now this as you can see has had a lot of wear this is a heavy duty plastic it's got holes in it um this is another one of those toys that is only for certain circumstances because one it is way too big and heavy to play with in the house but this is a great toy for your dog being able to play by themselves now, last but not least, uh, some things I want to talk about are shoes. A lot of people are always asking what are the best things you can get for your Bull Terrier for chewing on because Bull Terriers, again, in general, tend to be very uh, heavy duty chewers and they really love to chew on things as all dogs do and chewing is a very natural behavior it's a stress relieving behavior it's a coping mechanism it is a comforting behavior so this is a behavior that uh, I wouldn't suggest to people to just discourage or to stop um, but dogs do need something appropriate that they can chew on so some of the things, uh, obviously we talked about Kongs. These are good because they're just the solid rubber. Again, I suggest the black Kongs, the bigger sizes. Um, I have tried a lot of different shoes with several different, draw different dogs. And one of my biggest things is I'm not a big fan of artificial shoes and it took me a very long time before I was w uh, even willing to give my dogs things like Nyla bones. Um, the reason for this is because I don't like the idea of my dogs ingesting things, even small amounts, uh, that aren't digestible. And um, I've heard too many horror stories about bits of toys, pieces or tiny little flakes of Nyla bone. Uh, being ingested and just causing impaction um, and that definitely worries me. Some of the chews that I do use uh, and this this right here this is a uh, Ben Bohm. Um, this is a bacon infused uh, nylon plastic. This you can see the wear that is here. Um, now this honestly is going to be thrown away. So this was a $15 toy that my dogs probably chewed on a total of 20 minutes and this is going to be thrown away because of these little bits of plastic that they can peel off and eat. If you buy something like this, make sure that you understand that your dog cannot eat them. These are not edible. Yes, they have bacon in them. Yes, they're flavored. Yes, they smell really good. Your dog still can't eat them because the bacon is infused in plastic. When they start to get about like this, this is when you throw them away. So with bull terriers or other heavy duty chewing breeds, this can happen within a matter of five minutes. And you may be very upset because you just spent 15, 20, 30 dollars for a toy that you now have to throw away. Um, which is part of the reason that I generally don't purchase these things. But this is this is another one. This is a uh, another Nyla Bone toy. Again, this was uh, bacon flavored. Um, 
And this was, again, about $10 to $15 toy that probably was used a matter of an hour and uh, that'll be thrown away. So this is a big reason why I generally don't buy these toys. So you may be wondering, what do my dogs chew, considering they're not allowed to really have those for long periods? Well, I do have some good natural toys. One of my absolute favorites is deer antlers. Uh, deer antlers are completely digestible. Uh, bones. Uh, these are raw, uncooked, unsmoked bones. I never suggest anyone give their dog the bones or the rawhide that you find in most pet stores and grocery stores. Um, this was a raw bone that had raw meat on it. It was not cooked. It was not smoked. Uh, this was bought at the grocery store in the meat department. And um, raw bones always, smoked bones, cooked bones, those also have the potential to cause blockage, impaction um, in the gut where your dog cannot digest them because the cooking and smoking process uh, actually changes the density of a bone um, and makes it almost impossible to fully digest. Uh, so go always go with raw bones. Cow hooves and uh, pizzle sticks are also excellent chews. Um, things you really want to avoid, again, the smoked bones, uh, cooked bones, raw hide is horrible. I hope that this very long, very extensive video was of some help to you in purchasing some dog toys, hopefully for your new Bull Terrier puppy or maybe your new Bull Terrier from a rescue or adoption. Um, anyways, I again, I hope that this was uh, some helpful information for you. And as I try new toys, I will probably review new toys and I will post reviews here for everyone. And if you have any toy ideas or toys that you'd like for me to review or have any questions about toys that I've potentially reviewed in the past, um, feel free to leave a comment below. So, bye!